everyone, you alright? It's Alan here from the uh, Alan Kane's Daily Blog. Yeah, uh, is UK retail suffering? Well, um, well, what I'm going to say to you, folks, is yes, UK retail is suffering. Um, due to high rents and the cost of running a store and uh, yeah it's it's very expensive to run a store and people don't realise that because you've got to pay the rent you've got to have your staff you've got to have uh, let, electricity prices and stuff like that and it can be and I'm not joking a very expensive business and very soon very soon I can see one or two other companies going to the wall And one or two of these companies know who they are. Mother Care was a victim of the internet, really, and they couldn't they couldn't match the prices of of these retailers. A lot of them were doing their stuff through Amazon. A lot of them were doing their stuff through eBay. And they basically couldn't compete with those types of places. My personal opinion... I'd like to see an Amazon go come to Blackburn. Yeah, I actually would like to see an Amazon Go come to Blackburn. Why? Well, I reckon it would wake them all up a little bit. Because, to be truthful, the variety of shops they've got in there, I must admit, is pretty naff. B&M's okay for cheap and cheerful stuff. So's Poundland. But Peter Jackson Jewelers Mm -mm. I'm sorry guys but you're just shall we say too expensive for most Blackburners and they only oh, well they would only go in if they wanted something really special. But the big but why go in there when you can go to H and T or Ramsden's get the same thing for half the price. You know, some of these retail are going to have to really seriously think about what they're doing. It's 
special message to Argos. You could be next. You could definitely be next. Because why go in there and pay 600 quid for a TV and pay, as I say, pay 600 quid for it and instead go to somewhere like cash converters and pay 200 quid for it because that is you know gonna save you money at the end of the day and I've got to say to you that is this cash converters stuff a lot of it now isn't <coughs> people coming in and selling the stuff because the skin no. Some of it is. Some of it isn't. A lot of it is companies. They have um, overstock. They have overstock overstock of items. And they basically just turn around and they want to get shut of it all. And I went in one afternoon. High sense 55 inch TV. 4K display. 55 inch. Do you know how much they wanted for it? 299. They wanted 300 quid for it. And I'll tell you something, it was sat there, in the box, sealed. It was, as I said, it was sat in the box, sealed. And... What else can I say about that? It's the same cash generator. I went in and had a look in there, but I didn't film in there. I didn't film in cash converters because of types of because of some of the types of clients that they have there. So Went in, had a look, had a think about what they were selling, and you know, I am basically, basically considering some of these places. Because you can get good deals. Some people are. Are they coming or not? They decided. They decided to saw a blind person across across the road and. Uh, decided to stay there. Now, you don't do that. You just don't do it. I'm just having a basic walk up in a moment and uh, 
go home, go in and uh, basically download this. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, don't uh, slate these shops. Yeah, people might come in, come in with their old stuff, you know, to sell it because they're skin, like I said. But you can, oops, you can get some good deals in them, such as TVs, TVs, hi-fi, camera equipment, etc. And yeah it's just one of those things isn't it if you want something there are other ways of getting it besides nicking it so Keep it in mind, folks. You know, I've used them, but uh, sometimes some of the like, if you borrow money from them, they that's where that's where you get stung. That's where you get stung because it can be quite a high percentage rate. Um, so. But if you're buying and selling your stuff, yeah. But if you do it, if, if you're going in there, going in there trying to get a cash loan, uh, no. I basically wouldn't recommend it. So if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. And. Uh, Yeah, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do, do so, like I just said. And, uh, yeah, we will be doing some trips this week. Um, we'll be going, we'll be, we'll be doing the usual parking tomorrow. Hopefully. That's if uh, Buggerlogs doesn't get any appointments. Jennifer and uh, we'll see how that goes and Tuesday will be uh, the I don't know should we I think we'll go KFC again and we're also going to go around the boot fair as well so that should be all right shout outs to Colin building Blackpool better I always give him a shout out because his videos are really good and I mean really good it takes it takes the time and everything to edit his videos not like me and raw as it, raw as it comes um, and you know he does a real he does a really good video you know he really does we're gonna have to arrange a meetup Colin gonna have to arrange a meetup and uh, it'd be good to meet you someday, mate. And uh, any others who subscribe. If you've got YouTube channels, please let me know. Then I can promote them. You know? And it helps. It helps other creators as well you know I like 
you know, I basically like um, promoting people's work and uh, yeah but I've also got some news that uh, my bus service is thinking about stop doing Saturday service it's on the come Monday to Friday doesn't work on a Sunday they don't work on a Sunday Blackburn private hire but I think they do actually because I think they do uh, trips trips out but uh, what was I saying yeah they're thinking about cutting the three service and only doing it Monday to Friday. How people, what people feel about this, I haven't, I haven't heard anything. But people in Sunny Bow will be pretty upset because that service is. Well, it's used, it is used, but that would mean anybody on Sunny Bower will be stuck. You'd have to get a taxi down to uh, the nearest bus stop and then going from there to into town which in all intents and purposes isn't good just isn't good at all because all in all at the end of the day you'll be stuck up there you'd be stuck up there if you didn't have any transport It would be a bit of a mess, all in all. Yeah, not good at all. Not good. But that's just a rumour at the moment. So, if I find out more anymore, I'll let you all know. I don't know what's happening, but there's a lot of police activity today. Hmm. So I'm just having a what? I don't know. What? What shall we do now? Shall we walk down to? Shall we walk down to Basswell? Or shall we walk to uh, Florence Street, Florence Street paper shop? What do you reckon? I personally think. I personally think it's Lawrence Street Pep Shop. Thanks. Thanks a lot. That's nice. That's a, they're, they're a nice car. They're all electric. I like all... I like... The all all electric vehicles. And look at look at some of the here we go. Here we go. Some of the some of, look at that. Look at the Bentley at the back there. It's got some nice metal in there, tyre. 
the vans, the vans, they're pretty good. White stone garage this is. There we go. That. Absolute yard full of stuff. Wow. Three years time. Three years time, a lot of this. A lot of it, unfortunately, will be going to scrap. And I was talking to London uh, representative of the mayor's office, London Transport. They're trading in their buses. They're trading in a, fa a far, far number of uh, TfL's buses. And M moving from diesel to electric so that would mean that certain at certain places they'll have to charge up it's like the it's like the bus buses in Harrogate They pull up to the stand and at the bus station and they use what they call a rapid high powered rapid charger. Yep. And TFL Transport for London, the Elizabeth Line, you know, the purple trains, yeah, purple and white trains, the three, the uh, three, four, five. Well, they're having problems with the software. It can't talk to this. It's having problems talking to the signals. So, they reckon two years, two and a bit years, one and a bit years, sorry, that the software glitches will be sorted out. And another thing that's come up, Bond Street Station is not quite finished because there's so much construction going on. London Underground contractors are basically doing a lot of work but they're doing work next, do next door exactly next door to Crossrail contractors. Yeah. So, that's what I've got, well, that's all I've got to say for the moment. I would go home at the moment, but it's too early. And, uh, yeah. It's coming up to about three o'clock or just after. I'm basically gonna go down to 
the shop and uh, yeah I'm, I'm not matter of fact shall I take you for the ride I'll just take I'll just take you for the walk why not why not why not at all why not at all we'll uh, cross over here I think N near near box uh, 74 which is a box that has my phone line on it which is another story I could tell but I won't hear I'll keep it running just in case any nice mo any any very nice motors come past um, I forgot to run the video the other day uh, we had a Lamborghini Gallardo car past all these uh, exotics that we, we're getting black we normally make well, get that put your teeth back in on um, are mainly exotic exact exotics that are on hire um, because there's not that many people in Blackburn could afford a, a vehicle like that you know the undertaker he's been doing pretty well of late he's, ta he's talking about buying another house but I think uh, when he gets the thing for the new regulations for the for houses, because he rents houses out, he's going to get a bit of a shock. He's going to have to he's going to have to get rid of his gas meat, gas uh, boilers, and uh, that's going to cost him a pretty penny. Yeah, so we're just going to have a walk down here and uh, go to the uh, paper shop. And uh, we'll get some stuff. But uh, yeah, spend a few, spend a couple of quid with him because uh, he's pretty good. He usually has some pretty good stuff in. Drink wise, and now I've got, and now I've got eight liters of eight liters of drink at home. But we'll just go in and have a look. See what he's got in, and maybe, but maybe I might buy some. Of Maybe I might buy some. You see, people around there said they have no money. That car just gone past, worth about twenty grand. Hello, I think I've got, I think I've got a survey coming up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for now, and uh, I'll speak to you all later. Bye for now.